My name is Barbara LeWellner and today I'm going to show you how to make a frog using silverware. To make your frog, you're going to use four forks and two spoons and you're going to need um, eyes. I use quarter twenty nuts. You can use two small ball bearings or anything else that you can find that will look like little eyes for your guy. Now, starting off, on your spoon I use a marker and I mark the back half. I don't know if you can see that there. Mark right by the back of the spoon. You're going to use a cutoff wheel and you're going to cut those two spoons off. Save the handles because you're going to use a handle for one of the handles you're going to use for a tongue. Once you have the handle cut off the spoon, you're going to take your spoon and you're going to take an Air 90. I use a two inch roll lock, it's a sanding disc, 80 grit. You take and you're going to round off your spoon. Alright, your next step is going to be to take your four forks and to make a cute little tiny froggy legs. You're going to bend the forks into a Z shape and you're going to want to make sure that the bottom of the foot and the top of the fork is going to be parallel so that when they're on the ground that your frog is going to sit parallel. To bend your frog legs into the Z shape, we're going to place the fork into a vise. You can clamp it to your bench. Whatever way works for you, and these I can bend by hand. Some of them are going to need a hammer. Your first bend is going to be at the foot. Oops. And then I use markings on the fork so I can stay consistent. On this fork there is a, a name on the back. So I use that, place the fork back in there. And I use that marking so I'll have consistency between the four legs. Just take it and bend it until you have your Z shape. Now you're going to want to do that with all four of the forks. Alright, now that we've got the legs all bent up, the next step is going to be to shape the tongue. And you're going to take the cut off piece of the spoon and we're going to shape it. You know, kind of a small S shape. This one's a little bit thicker of a handle, so I've got to use a hammer to, to bend it. So, there we have it, we got a little bend in it. Now it's going to give it a little bit more character so when the tongue's sticking out of the frog that it's going to look really cute. Now that you have everything ready it's time to start welding. So I start off by taking the two quarter twenty nuts, I hold them in my welpers and I'm going to weld the two of them together and just put a small tack weld on them. Now, once those are welded, you're going to take one of your spoon pieces, you're going to lay it down, and these are going to become the eyes. So I hold them onto there, and I tack weld them on. So, now you have the top of the frog's head. To do the bottom of his head, you're going to take the other spoon, other half of the spoon, and you're going to take and you're going to weld your tongue in. Uh, I weld it towards the back. Just hold it down and give it a couple of taps. Oops. I like to have it off to the side a little bit so it's not coming straight out of the mouth, so it comes off to the side. You can do yours however you want. Now when I first weld it in there, it's flat like that. I take it and I like to bend it up just a little bit so that I can have the mouth open. If you can see that. There you go. So the mouth can be open. 
All right. Now you're going to take the top and the bottom and you're going to weld those two pieces together. We're going to try. You're going to weld them right at the back. I need three hands for this. Get them lined up and weld. your frog's head. Now his face, squeeze it just a little bit so his mouth doesn't open as much. But there you go, there is the top half of your frog. Now your next step is going to be to take your legs and weld your little froggy legs together. So I take the back two legs, I'll weld them first. You might need to do a little bending to get them so that they are Coming together evenly, I face the legs on the back straight out, and then just uh, do a quick weld together. Once again, three hands are really nice. the two pieces, two back legs, and I'll weld the front legs to that. Once again, you might have to bend them in order to get them to all match up. Now that you've got the legs, you've got a little base, you're going to take the head and you're going to weld it to the legs. you now officially have a frog made out of silverware. When it cools off, you're going to want to take a wire brush and you want to clean up all the weld spatter, uh, grind it off with the wire brush, and then anything that's left over, you're going to take a hammer and a chisel and you're going to clean any of that uh, weld spatter that hasn't come off. Uh, they're stainless plated, they're not really stainless, I'm using steel wire. So when I get done, once it cools off and all the slag and everything's cleaned up, I take a clear coat and I spray that on with a clear coat. I just I use a Rust-Oleum. I'm not getting paid by that, but Rust-Oleum, if you want to hook me up, go for it, man. Love your products. So when you guys get done, send me a picture of the frog when you guys get done. I would love to see what you guys create. Thank you so much for sticking around and checking out my project. If you want to see more, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Barbie the Welder. And you can follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. Thank you guys so very much.